hello guys welcome to my youtube channel my name is kobe and this is sky tech digital now in this video i'm going to show you how you can be able to create this um you know amazing website as you see over here in figma so this is just a one page um, portfolio website and this video is going to show you how you can be able to create this interactive one page portfolio website in figma now what we're going to do is um, we're going to create everything um over here okay so we will create everything over here and then after that we are going to what um you know use the prototype to prototype everything make it interactive and then i'm going to show you how you can be able to what, mark it up like this and then send it to your cut your 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 client or anybody who you are creating this website for before you can even use wordpress or convert this whole thing into what into a wordpress website so as you can see over here this is interactive now if i say it is interactive it means that even though it is just a design that you've created you can be able to what um you know use the prototype option of figma to be able to make it interactive so that people can be able to what, click on it and then we'll be able to show them whatever they have to what know so um if you look at it carefully over here now this is um just a one page website okay so this is the hero session over here now if i click on the about it's going to take me to the about side of the website so as you can see it sends me to, uh, to the about side. now if i want to go up i'll be able to uh, click on this um arrow over here it will take me up okay now the same way if i want to go to services i can click over here it will send me towards services if i want to go up i'll click on this one it will have to what send me towards uh, my services and um, the the hero session or the um, top of the what, of the website now if i click on portfolio it will take me to my portfolio if i click on this also it's going to send me up now the same way if i click on contact it's going to what, give me the contact um you know details or the con where the contact form is that people will be able to fill and if i click this it's going to what it's going to send me up now if i click on get quote it's still going to what, bring me to what um, you know the contact size for me to what uh, fill in the form that will be able to give me the quote um to 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 you know request a quote from the um you know from me and then also if i click up it's going to uh, take me to uh, to the app of the website now the same way if i click on learn more also it's going to take me to the what uh, the um you know the about side of the what uh, the website now so this is what uh, just a one page website very interactive using what uh, figma to show your design and how the whole website will look like before you what uh, you go ahead and then design it in wordpress i'm going to show you how i use figma to be able to get this whole design done um, as you can see i designed it over here and then um you know i use the prototype option to what make it what interactive and then i converted it or mark it up to show how it will look at look up in what in a real um, laptop so that is all what we're going to do today and then the next video that is the second part of this video will convert this design into what into a wordpress um, website a proper wordpress website so that people can search online and then look at it um, you know find out what our website over there so without wasting my time let's get into the video okay guys so um first of all what we're going to do is we're going to design this whole thing now we have to open figma and then start designing it in figma now for those of you who don't know what figma is figma is um you know an, a web application which we use to design um web or application interface okay so the U ui um of the application that you want to uh, design you can use uh, figma to uh, to design it okay so for instance i want to create um you know a website now i have to what create the website the interface of the website using figma over here to show my clients that this is how it's going to be and then if they want it we go ahead and then we, what we use um, a web design tool to be able to uh, to create the web design for them so this is you can also decide to uh, to maybe create um, a, an app 
or something you can use figma to to create the ui of the of the app or the interface of the app and then you show it to your client and then if the client you know accept it this is how it's going to be then you use your um, app application or any application that you use in the software that you use in creating your app or you code it from what from scratch so um we're going to what design this one this web application or web website interface in what in figma okay now in figma you can also you know prototype everything that you've done move from what page to page and you know um, um stages to stages okay show the client that this is how this stage looks like this is how this stage also what it looks like now to to access figma figma is what is free you don't need to pay anything for figma everything that you need to use in figma is what is free so what you have to do is um just go to what figma.com okay so you're gonna go to what um figma.com over here i'll leave the link in the description and then you can be able to what you can be able to um you know access it over there so it is very simple just go to figma.com now if you haven't what sign in or you don't have an account over there it will tell you to what create an account now you can use your um you know your your gmail to uh, to sign in very easily okay now if you go over there to figma.com um you can go ahead and then what um, click on new design file okay so just you know click on new design file over here and then you'll be able to what um, redirect to this um, design page over here whereby you'll be able to what create your new what design file now i'm going to show you what uh, most of the tools over here is what is useful now most of it um you know when you hover on it, it will, what it will be able to tell you the name of the tool now if you know how to use you know most of the design tools like photoshop adobe adobe um you know tools and other stuff you'll be able to what, know most of the things over here because they are what they are similar okay so this one is what the fi uh, the figma main menu okay so over here when you click on it you'll be able to see so many things what over here okay so these are things which are what are very understandable you can be able to what, understand it so i'm not going to go through any of it but i'm just going to take you through most of the things that we the tools that we're going to use over here so what are we going to use it um first of all before you can be able to create any file because we want to what prototype the file and other stuff we need to you create um or you know um assign a frame for what for that particular file okay for that particular project that we're going to do so we have to what click on the what um the frame over here now as you can see we have frame we have session we have slides now what we're focusing on is what is the frame okay that means that um the kind of device that we want our design to be what to be seen on okay and that is what we're going to do so we click on the frame over here now if you click on it you realize that um there are on your right side over here all the you know the types of frame is displayed over here okay so you can see over here that we have what the phone we have tablet we have desktop and the desktop we have so many things and even under phone you can choose the kind of phone that you want to what you want to um, you know use if it is tablet you can choose the kind of tablet that you are going to what you're going to use if it is desktop also you can choose the kind of what desktop that you're going to if it is just a presentation you can choose the kind of what presentation that you want to what use and then we have watch you know apple watch and other stuff we have um paper so you see the paper size we also have what um social media so which kind of social media post that you want to what create and then also the figma with community over here and then we have what the archive okay so um basically what we're going to deal with is what is the desktop over here because we're going to create what um you know a desktop over here now if you go to uh, my design over here you realize that the frame that i chose was what macbook pro 14 okay so as you can see it is what macbook pro 14 everything that we do is within that macbook pro 14 okay so what we're going to do is we're going to choose that same thing so macbook pro what 14 okay so now we choose our frame so as you can see this is what um you know the main screen of that macbook pro 14 okay now over here we want to contain our what our hero session and then what people what we see when they land on our what on our website that is the first thing that they're going to see the first screen that they're going to see unless they scroll before they will see okay now we are going to create something which is what um the home page or the main you know it is just a one page so we're going to create the main 
um you know page of what of the um, website now as you can see it is very tall okay and that is why when you click on this macbook pro 14 you realize that the width is what 1512 okay and then the height is what 5000 now if you go over here you, you see that the width is what 1512 but the height is what uh, 982 okay so from here to here is what 982 um you know that is the height okay now you can change it to what to the 5000 so from here to here gives you the what gives you the you know maybe the main screen of what of the um, website so what we're going to do is um first of all we're going to start with what the hero session and then the header first before we move out to what to um you know increase the height and everything of what of the you know the website or the the main page that is the main page that we're going to create so what we're going to do is um we go over here and then see what um the top one is what the top header over here and then the main header over here okay which contains the what the logo um you know the the um how do you call it the home p uh, the menu items over here and then you know a button over here and then the top header contains what it contains the um the social media handles and then you know something like what um for inquiries call that is a contact um you know details over here so what we're going to do is um start creating that thing over here so first of all whatever we are creating should be inside what inside the um the macbook pro okay so mostly we're going to use um you know this tool uh, maybe some of the drawing tools and then the text tool okay to be able to what, create it and basically what we're going to use is what is the uh, um the rectangular tool and then the what the text tool okay most of this is what we're going to use um these two things are what we're going to use in creating most of the things that we are what we're going to do over here. and then we add some images and other stuff to it and then you know we color we make sure that the color suit all those things that we're going to do now if you look at this website that um you know one particular color that would that runs through it okay and that is the orange what orange color okay now this color was picked from the what's on the logo of this website okay and that is why you see it running through all it and it makes it what it makes it neat and it makes it what nice for people to know your brand and your you know your color that you stand by okay and that is it so um this will what run through the website making our website unique and nice okay and that is it now with, without talking too much let's go inside it and then start creating the words the figma um, design that we're going to do our website in figma that we are going to do so first of all i'm going to pick this um rectangular tool over here so i'm going to click on it and then i'll you know just um drag it okay so i'm going to drag it over here just make sure that i drag it to, uh, to the end of the what of the um the page okay so i'll what i'll you know position it in the middle over here okay so after dragging it over here what we're going to do is what um we are creating the top one which is this one okay so what we're going to do is um we're just going to what we're just going to you know shift it or drag it to what to make sure that um we have you know the size of it like um 44 or something okay the height should be something like 44 which is what quite enough okay so as you can see the rectangle fall, falls um within the what the you know the 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 macbook pro okay so now um we can what we can edit the what the properties of the what of this rectangle okay so we go over here on our right side where you scroll over here you can see under it we have what fill over here okay so now we can change the color okay so the color we're going to use is what um you know something like a black color over here okay i think this one is okay now it wouldn't be as perfect as the other one but um i don't want to what um you know pick the same color or whatever it is or if i like i can go ahead and then you know just check the color that i use over here which is what 3833 okay so what i'm going to do is i'm just going to uh, copy it over here and then come over here and then instead of 1a1a i'm going to say 3a3a okay and then and what will, will match perfectly now that i have this one also done now um if you look at you know this one this one is also not 44 so if i scroll um let's say if i scroll up over here it is supposed to be what 
55 so um, i'm gonna have something like this okay so now i have this one perfectly done over here now the next one is what also i'm gonna pick another um you know another um how do you call it rectangular over here now what i'm gonna do is i'm going to what also um drag it and then you know use it to create my what my my menu okay or my second what header okay so now i have this over here and i'm going to what drag it to make it something like what 90 okay and then i think 90 is what quite okay so let me let me position it to all okay so i think 90 is what quite okay so this one is what six no it's not supposed to be it's supposed to be five something oh yeah so it's from here okay yeah okay so 5 12 90 so 90 is what quite okay now over here i want to what, change the fill color to to white okay so what i'm going to do is i'm going to go over here and then just change it to what, to white okay and then i think i have what i have my what my second one i want this one to be under this one okay so that even if i have to what i have to you know drag it this way you still know what you still not be able to what um you know see um the the rectangle because it is it is going to be, be under under it okay so what i'm going to do is i'm just going to what um shift it small let me shift it down okay i'm using the what the down arrow key to shift it down so that it will be exactly as what 90 that i want okay yeah so this one is what is quite okay so now i have my what i have my second you know trying trying a rectangle setup which is what which is there um where i'll place my what my second menu now that is the main menu okay now what i'm going to do is um the next one is what to bring this what this um you know image over here so um to bring that image what i will do is what i'll just you know open where my images are okay so i'm going to go to my download okay and then i'm going to go over here and then um i'm going to find what the image that i use which is this one over here now what i'm going to do is um all these images especially this ones i downloaded it from what um pixabay and then on splash so if you want any image you can go over there um on splash.com or pixabay.com you can go over there to uh, to download your images over there now what i'm going to do is i'm just going to uh, drag this one into the design um you know tool and then i'll be able to what uh, have the design uh, the, the picture to be able to what uh, to use for my design so um i'm going to use control uh, minus to, uh, to zoom in or to zoom out whichever way it is and then i'll what uh, i'll drag my i'll position it in a way that i want okay so i'm just going to uh, position it well so that you know exactly um you know what i'm doing so now i'm just going to uh, make sure that it fits in very well okay so this one is over here now what I'm, i'll do is you see this one the image over here is above the what the um how do you call it the macbook pro it's supposed to be inside okay so what i'm going to do is i'm just going to drag this one and then make it underneath all the other triangles okay so it's supposed to be inside so as you can see um now it is what it is in oh no it is even not inside it's supposed to be um let's say in this one okay so um i'm going to make it what underneath this one rather yeah very good so now you can what you can see that it is what inside the what the macbook pro okay so now what i'm going to do is what i'm just going to shrink it uh, make sure that it fits very well okay so as you can see i will also make sure that this one also fits exactly the way i want it so as you can see guys this is how it's supposed to what it's supposed to look and then it fits in very well over here so i can what i can also use the zoom tool to what to um zoom in to it to make sure that um i get the full view of what what i really want so now let's go ahead and then start with designing everything um, all the other let's bring all the other you know content and other stuff to it so as you can see this is getting to this is just the hero session and then the 
just the the hero session and then the two main headers so we have the the um how do you call it the 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 top header and then the main what header okay so with the top header what is written over here so it says what for inquiries call you know blah 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 over here okay and then this one is also what is the um is the um social media what icons over here and that is what exactly what we're going to what we're we going to use so um we're going to go over here and then bring in the what the text tool okay so we're going to what, use the text tool over here and then start what creating text on our what on our um head header so let's click over here and then start typing so we say what for inquiries contact so we're gonna what um copy this one okay i don't want to what i don't want to make it what um to anything so i'm just going to just copy and paste over here and then um what i'm going to do is i'm going to highlight all of them because the text is not really showing so what i'm going to do is what um first of all let me just click outside over here and then i'm going to drag this one on top of it that is why the text is not showing okay so as you can see when i drag over the the text was underneath the triangles and uh, the rectangles sorry so i need to uh, drag it on top of it now i need to position it to what well over here so as you can see it is what well positioned over here now you can what you can make sure that um, you align it the way you want it to uh, to align so now i have this one done now the next one that i have to do is what to make sure that i bring me my what my social media what um handles over here so um to do that now first of all you need to you know install some plugins in it okay so that we can be or you can decide to what, bring um any social media images um you know icon images over here but um, what i need to do is i want to install the icons so that i will have all the social media icons that i want so as you can see over here these are what icons installed on what on the um figma platform okay so as you can see i installed these icons over here so these are what all icons would install it is not an image okay it is what it is um you know the icons that um i installed so what i'm going to do is um I'm going to go straight away to what to figma over here and then i'll go to what i'll click on this uh, main menu over here and then when you scroll down you see what we have what um plugins over here okay so what we have to do is what you can what you can um these are the two icons that i installed so one is what icon sucks icon set by icon dark and then uh, mono social icons by you know icon dark okay so go ahead click on find more plugins over here and then you know search maybe anything like let's say social icons okay so if you see you, you have this social icon over there okay you can what you can go ahead and then you know click on it and use it okay you can go ahead and click on it and use it or if you don't want any of this one if you don't want it you can go ahead and then what choose anything that you want so when you want to use it all what you need to do is to click on this run over here okay to uh, to make sure that it is installed on your what on your uh, project so um search for these two plugins over here icon sucks and then mono um social icons and then click on what run okay to uh, to run it so um when you run it it will definitely what um, come so let's say i run it over here you're going to see that um the icon sh is supposed to what, display for me over here okay so now it is what it is running icon set by icon um you know dark so as you can see this is what this is the icon you know sax icon set so now i have this one over here i can go ahead and then choose any icon that i want okay so let's say um i want to watch facebook instagram and then maybe twitter okay so now i can choose facebook over here just click on it you see that facebook will be what will come okay now the next one is what maybe instagram so let's say instagram so as you can see we have a lot of what instagram things over here okay so any of them that you want you choose so let's say i want this one over here so i choose what instagram and then maybe um twitter 
so i search for twitter and then i'll be able to what i'll be able to you know look at now of course it said um could not match any of them okay so now the next set of i, I can close this one and then go and look for um go and run any other thing which have what twitter so as you can see the social media icon by what the same icon that people i can what i can use it but let's um go ahead and then you know um, edit this one and then we drag it to, to the position that we want so as you can see we can go ahead and then look at the fill over here and then change it to a, to white okay so now that we have white over here we can go ahead and then you know drag it to what the position that we want we want okay so now let's go ahead and then you know drag it to this position and then make sure that we change um this one to let's say 34 okay so as you can see 34 is what quite okay so now we can what we can drag it to what, um any of the you know the positions that we want so now i have it over here now i can also do the same thing to it to this one so i can change the fill to also what to white over here and then um close this one close this one over here and then go ahead and then also change this one to it to 34 okay the height to a 34 34 and then drag it straight away to it to you know position it just and make sure that it is what it is um in the same what position over here. so as you can see i have the two icons what stated um stationed what in the place that i want successfully but guys as you can see these ones are not inside the what the macbook uh, pro okay so we want it to be inside so we're going to what um you know select the tool of them so hold control and then you know just click on the two and then drag them inside it okay so we're going to drag them inside it and then now we have them what inside the what the macbook pro so the next one that we want to also do is what to bring in our twitter what icon over here so to do that we go straight to the um the the plugins over here and then as i told you to what to download the mono social and um, to run the mono social icon so i'm going to what to run this one and when i run it it's supposed to show me where i can be able to get that particular icon so now what am i going to do i'm going to just search for twitter so as you can see um, we have what twitter over here okay so i can click on it or uh, let me just use this one i can click on it and then twitter will be what will be um you know displayed or will be installed for me so i will just change i'll just change this one to white over here and then change this one to a 34 so that it's all going to be the same size so now i'm going to drag this one to this position okay and now what i'm going to do is i'm going to uh, make sure that this one comes inside what inside the macbook pro so now that it is positioned in it now i what i'll make sure that they all align in the same way okay so now guys as you can see now i have my top header work done successfully what i need to do is just bring my logo over here and then my what my menu items also will be here now before i even bring out my menu item what i need i want to do is i want to um, bring in the button which is over here which is what um get a coat okay so as you can see we have get a coat over here so i want to just you know use the rectangular tool to be able to create that get a coat button so i click on the rectangular tool and then i will you know drag in a rectangle very nice rectangle over here and then um, i'll change the color to the color that i want so i'm going to click on this fill over here and then i'm going to use the you know the the orange color okay so i'll click on this orange color um let me just yeah use this fe7e07 fe7e07 so um i'll close it and then this is it okay so guys this is it now i'm going to what, pull it make sure that it becomes a little bit bigger so yeah something like this 
and then um you know stretch it a little more something like this and then i want to you know make the corner rounded okay so over here as you can see this is what the corner that i want so let's say i want to make it like um 50. so let's say i want to make it like 50 okay so i write 50 over here click on enter and as you can see the corners is now what's rounded over here so now i have what my corner um being rounded so now i have the button but i need to write something in the inside it so what i want to write is um i just need to pick the words the text tool over here and then i'm going to you know write something like get a quote okay so i'm going to just write get a quote so this is what get a quote okay so um i'm going to highlight it and then change this one the uh, medium italic i don't want it to be like that i just want it to be what bold okay and then i'll um, i'm going to drag this one into this one now i'm going to change um you know the the text size to let's say 32 okay and then i will position it what in the middle now it is black i want it to be white so i'm going to what change the color over here to white so guys as you can see my color is now what white now i have what get the coat in it okay so now that i have get the coat the button relief um you know situated where it's supposed to be now what i need to do is to bring my menu items and then bring my my logo over here so that is exactly what i'm going to do so as you can see the menu items over here are home about services portfolio and then contact these are what these are just five main items over here so home about services portfolio and then contact okay and that is exactly what i'm going to do so i'm going to go over here pick the text tool over here and then come over here and then write home so i'm going to write home okay so i have my home over here i'm going to highlight on it come over here um and then change some few things over here so as you can see it says what bold i want to change it to regular okay i want to change it to regular and then i want to change this one to a 25 okay so now i have what i have this one as 25 so um i'm going to make sure that it's positioned in the middle okay now i want to change this one i also want to what duplicate this one so to duplicate this one i need to what click on the alt and then you know drag okay hold and drag so if i hold and drag as you can see it is what it has been what duplicated okay so i'm going to what um hold on over here and then change this one to about okay and then the same thing i want to duplicate so hold on the alt um that is if you are using the what, the windows um, pc and then drag okay drag so make sure that it is in line exactly in line okay and then you know the um, the space over here is the same as what this space okay so i'm going to say services very good services and then the next one is what also do the same thing hold and drag and then make sure that it is what also in line everything is in line yes very good so now um this one services and then this one is a portfolio and then the last one is also what contact so um hold and drag using the alt key the alt okay and then i'm going to say contact okay very good so now i have this um you know menu items um done successfully now i want to what uh, give a space over here so that i wouldn't be near to this place so i'm going to what uh, select all of them so i'm going to um just click and select all of them over here and then you know just um give a space so undo it has selected this get a code but i don't want it so i'm going to unselect it and then you know just give a space between 
okay so guys now i have this my menu item set up now as you can see um this one this one over here is what is yellow okay um i said yellow is um the orange color okay so what we're gonna do is um we're gonna change this one to that particular this particular orange color so let's pick the color over here color code over here and then come over here select this one and then you know change this one towards that particular color code click on enter and now here we go we have it set up so now guys as you can see we have what um you know a hero session almost ready to go now the next one is to bring in our logo over here so to do that we just drag in what the logo so let's do that okay so drag to drag in our logo all what we need to do is um to you know locate where the logo is and then this is our logo and then we're going to drag in the logo just like this one so guys as you can see this is what our logo now we have to position the logo where we want it to be positioned so we want it, the logo to be here and then we can what reduce the size okay so let's just reduce um the size of the what of the logo the way we want it so if this is okay for you um you know you can go ahead and then position it where you want it to be what position so guys as you can see we have our logo set up everything is what working perfectly for us we have our two menus um or headers what i'm um, set up okay so the top header and then the the main what header set up now the next one that we need to do is what to um you know bring in whatever that we wrote over here in the hero session so as you can see we have this um rectangle over here with what with a kind of like a black um black you know opacity kind of thing over here and then we also have what this particular what text written over here so um this text is what is a very nice text that we mixed with different kinds of what different kinds of um, styles okay and then we also bring this one over here and then the button that we want to uh, to bring so now to do that we just go ahead and then bring in our what our rectangular tool over here so we're going to use the rectangular tool to create a re rectangle for us so we're going to create something like this okay so now we have something like this so now what do we do we want to shape the corners okay so to do that just click over here you see this uh, four dots over here okay just click on it and then drag inside okay it would it give you a nice um rounded corner over here so um now we want to make sure that our color is what is black okay so we want a black color over here and then reduce the opacity of that black so as you can see we can reduce the opacity to make it with a very transparent to it black so now we have this one now the next one is what to bring in our what our web design and digital marketing text over there so to do that what we're going to do is what to go over here choose the text tool over here just click on the text tool and then you know just start writing whatever you want to what write so you want to say what um web design and digital marketing okay so now we want to what um you know change this one as in like style it so what we have to do is what we have to go ahead and then you know change this one to 75 okay so as you can see 75 over here and then um let's just make this one maybe black okay and then what i'm going to do is um i'm just going to come over here and then change this one to it to a different you know thing so let's say um black italic okay so something like this so as you can see this one is different and then i'm going to change the color i'm going to change the color to it, the orange color that we used so um let me pick this this orange color okay over here 
and then come over here and then just pick just change this particular text to that particular orange color okay so as you can see we have it over here now i want to what, reduce the spacing between this um this particular um text two text okay so what i want to do is i'll highlight all of them and then you know i'll look for where i can reduce the spacing so as you can see over here this is what line height okay so i can what i can go ahead and then reduce that height okay so i think this one is quite okay for me now i can go ahead and then position it where i want it to, to be positioned okay now as you can see um i think everything is good now the next one is for me to uh, to bring in this particular text okay so now this is what uh, just a dummy text so i can copy it and then come over here and then use the what the text tool over here to create that particular text so i'm going to just paste in that text over here and then as you can see um i will position it underneath this one okay so uh, make sure that it is what it is 22 regular enter okay so position it and then um i just want to duplicate this um you know this this particular word this particular um how do you call it rectangle and then the the quote inside okay so i just want to what, um duplicate it so i'm going to highlight the two of them and then i'll drag in and bring this one over here okay guys now you cannot see this one over here because it is what it is um, underneath the rectangle so what we want to do is we want to bring it on top of that particular um, rectangle so as you can see it is now what on top and now i'm going to what say learn more so now let's write it in what in capitals okay so learn more okay so now we can um you know go ahead and even um choose to what we can choose to you know expand the what the 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 button okay so the rectangle over here you can choose to make it with a little bit bigger yeah so this is quite okay okay and then we what we position this one in it in a way that will fit exactly okay so as you can see guys this is what learn more so what i'm going to do is i'm just going to what just going to drag it uh, down or position it down a little bit okay and then you know bring this one also a little bit down so i'm going to push it down a little bit and so that there will be space all around the text and other stuff that i created so um i think this is what quite okay and what i'm going to do is i'm just going to what um, i'm just going to select this whole thing over here let me undo i'm just going to select this whole thing over here so i'll select this one um i'll select this one select this one select this one over here and then i'll just make sure that they fit in okay i'll push it on the left side so now as you can see guys i have my what my hero session done nicely okay which is similar to what um what we created over here so um we are done with our hero session and now we can what we can go ahead and then you know do the next what the next session now to be able to do the next session there is no space down here okay so how do we do the next session now to do that we're going to what, click on this one over here now we can change um you know we can change the the height okay to 5000 that we want so let's change the height to, to 5000 okay so i'm going to change the height to 5000 and as you can see it has what it has changed okay to what to a very long what long page okay now at the moment you change the height to 5000 what happens to the icons over here as you can see the icons also stretch okay so um what we're going to do is um, we're just going to what um you know just select all the icons over here and then we change them to their normal what normal position which is what um 34 sorry we're going to change this one to a 34 okay so 
change it to 34 and change this one to also a 34 and you are good to go okay so unlink this one and change it to a 34 and you are good to go okay now you can drag them on top over here and then as you can see everything is working perfectly okay so guys now we have what we have our hero session done we can do the other what other um you know sessions just in a couple of what minutes so to do the other sessions now as you can see this one is what this one is um the about session over here so the about session is also what having this um about you know kitech digital and then um a long essay over here okay and then we also have what an image over here so first of all um you need to make sure that you divide this one into two equal parts and then to do that now just use your eye to divide it okay it's not any big deal make sure that you um you know you align everything well and then you are out you are good to go so what we need to do is to bring in our our um second image so this is the second image that we're going to bring in i'm going to paste the image over here and then i want to what position it what um well so what i need to do is what, i need to just you know shrink the what the image okay to what i want so let's say um something like this let's say something like this okay so just make sure that you do it in a way that you want and then um as you can see we have rounded corners so i want to what, make sure that i still have that kind of rounded corner so i'll drag this one in it okay just hold over here and drag in and then the next one is what bring me my text and other stuff so we have what about and then what kitech digital so as you can see um this text is what enter and then bold italic and then this one is what enter and black this one is 36 and this one is what i am 64 so um it's also very simple just go over here and then just you know just write about okay now after writing about make sure that you change the what the text property so we're going to change enter and then this one is what 35 okay and then this one is what um is it italic okay so where is it yeah so it is what regular and then what italic so let's see Oh, bold and italic so we're going to change it to what bold and what italic so um let's go by bold and what italic and then we're going to change this one to our um you know our color okay so i'm going to pick this color over here let's pick the color code over here and then go back to our um, text over here and then paste in the color code over there and then click enter and you can see everything works now um our next one is what is the is the is the kitech digital so i'm going to drag this one over here i'm going to copy and drag okay so that i'll be able to what, write uh, my text so i'm going to what say kitech digital so kitech digital okay so kitech digital now i'm going to change this one to a black so so i'll see what um black okay and then this one i'm going to change it to let's say 75 so let me see if it is what 75 um 64 okay so i'm going to say 64 okay and then i'll change this one to it black okay guys so now we have um it done now we can what uh, we can you know push it up a little bit okay so now as you can see this is what exactly how this one really looks like now we have what this um line underneath okay so we're gonna also what bring the line underneath so um we can go ahead and then use a line or we use what a rectangle anyhow we want it okay so i will just use this um cute small rectangle and make it like a line underneath okay and then i'm gonna what um use the what the uh, color code over here 
so guys as you can see um i'm going to increase this one to let's say four so that we, we will see the what the, the rectangle very well so now guys this is what this is the line that we are we are having we can push it a little bit up up so we have what we have our our you know heading set up correctly now the next one is what is our text so um we need to bring the text over here so i'm going to what, copy this one um you know just copy it okay and then um come down over here pick my text tool click over here and then paste in um you know the text that i want to um, copy and paste so um i want to change the color fill over here so as you can see the color fill is what is a little bit black so this color 27 27 27 so i will choose this one copy it again scroll down use you know some few text over here now um don't worry it's the same it's just a dummy text okay so uh, it's not anything you need to worry about so now i have this one also set up but as you can see um text text there is a lot of space over here and then it is not aligned well okay so we need to, uh, to make sure that we align it well so what i'm going to do is i'm going to just you know push this one on top over here and then copy all these ones over here um did i say copy no select all these ones over here and then you know position it them position them well make sure that i uh, make sure that i you have a, a lot of space at the right hand side and then at the left hand side of the website or the web page so make sure that everything is what well aligned and then you know you can go ahead and even if you have to adjust this one make sure that you adjust it okay so that everything will be what well positioned so as you can see everything is now what well positioned there's also a space over here and we are what we are good to go so now um i think my about page is also what um really done now don't worry about it being the same with text throughout okay um, it doesn't matter it's just a dummy text our uh, about page is what also done now the next one is what the next session over here which is also the services what the services page okay so as you can see um this is three services that they offer they offer web design digital marketing and seo so our services over here and then you know something written under each one over here so we are going to do that in this one also so you remember you, you see that this one have a different background okay so we're going to what uh, make sure that we 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 check the color of that background and then we also what use that particular what um you know color so as you can see we have what f6 dbb2 okay that is what the, and it, it is what it is 44 percent so we come over here we choose a um you know a rectangular tool and then we create what a rectangle for it okay let's try and then create a rectangle for it so um i'm just going to create create a rectangle for it and then i'm going to what choose this one which says what um f2 bb2 is it bb2 f2 bb2 f6d bb2 sorry f6 f6d bb2 so i'll choose this one and then as you can see this is what 44 percent so it's going to have something like this okay so guys um this is exactly what you want so everything is what quite okay okay yeah everything is quite okay so this is exactly what we want and then we can what we can bring in our um other what other things so now let's make sure that this one is what inside the what the macbook pro okay make sure that it is what it is inside so that it doesn't um go over it so now that we have this one 
um, you know set up now we can what go ahead and then what we're going to do is we're just going to duplicate this things okay so we click over here um click on the rectangle and then click on the about over here okay and then we are going to duplicate so we're going to what just um, hold on alt and then we'll drag okay so you hold on alt and then you drag you see that you're going to get to it exactly what you want so now it is underneath the what the um, rectangle so you're not going to see it so we just want to drag it on top so that it will be on top the what the rectangle so as you can see everything is what working perfectly so now what we have to do is position them well okay just like the way um, it is in the other page so now this says what our okay so as you can see this is our and then this one says what services so services services okay so our services so now what i'm going to do is i'm just going to what um drag this one in the middle over here uh, making it what um a little bit well so um let's just drag this to services yes in the middle over here and then with the rectangle we have to what, reduce the what the size okay so this one the width um let's make it like 200 yeah and then push it this way okay so let's say um 250 okay so i think 250 is what quite okay okay so 250 is what quite okay and then i'm going to bring this one um you know down a little bit okay so our services over here um now we can go ahead and then you know bring in all the services that we what we offer so as you can see the first one is with web design digital marketing and then seo so what we're going to do is um we locate where all of those things are so we have web design over here so we're going to bring in the web design first okay so guys as you can see i'm going to zoom out and then you know position the web design very well so i'm gonna what um it's it's supposed to be three okay so make sure that you give space for all those three okay so this is the first one and then um let's go ahead and then bring the second one so digital marketing so i'm gonna what also you know ship this one also and then the last one seo okay guys so now that we have all these three set up now let's position it very well so i'm gonna what um pick all of them um select all of them okay and then i'll make sure that they are positioned in the what um in the right place in the middle okay so yes um they are now in the middle over here so now i can what i can decide to go ahead and then write whatever i want to write underneath so if you go over here we have what we have web design we have digital marketing and we have seo so um let's you know go to let's go over here and then first of all let's um let's zoom in to see what is going on okay so first of all we have to uh, make the corners run so i'm going to pull in 34 over here okay the same thing make this one with 34 okay and the same thing make this corner also with 34 so as you can see we have this rounded connect so corners now the next one is what to bring in our what our text we need it so whatever thing that they do we're gonna what say it over here so um this one is what web design so what i'm gonna do is um i'm just going to what drag in um copy and drag this one oh sorry not this one this particular one copy and drag this one over here okay say what um, web design okay now i'm going to what select it and then let's see um, the size for the web design over here it is 35 black okay and then this one also is what is 22 regular so it is the same thing 35 black 
so um, I'm gonna go over here and then make it to a 35 okay and position it in um, in the middle yeah position it in the middle exactly okay so I have this one 35 black so I'm gonna what, copy this one also over here I'm gonna copy this one also over here okay so now I can change this one to what um, SEO okay so make sure that it is in the middle okay now I can change this one to what um, digital marketing okay now I'll position it in the middle yeah very good so now um, I think we are done with what the um, you know the headings okay so the next one is what to bring in the text so I'm just going to copy this text over here because um, it's just a random text it's not anything now what I'm going to do is I'm going to what bring in my text tool over here and then just click somewhere here and then paste in what the text over here so as you can see the text is what align left so I want what it to um, you know align center okay so I'm going to click over here to make it align center and then I would I'll position it um, you know just underneath this one now I can duplicate this one bring it over here don't worry it's just a dummy text it's not anything and then also duplicate this one okay so now that I have this one done now I think I'm good to go with what our third session okay so now as you can see this is what the third what session so we are done with what um, the home about the services now we are going to portfolio and then we go to what contact okay so now that we are done over here we can move straight to what our portfolio and then we can go to what the contact so with the portfolio what are we going to do so as you can see over here this is what this is our portfolio okay so our portfolio deals with four different things we have the business website e-commerce um, ngo you know the um the e um the another e-commerce website so it's just um you know something for that you can what you can put over there so what i'm going to do is i'm just going to bring in my images or well, first of all let me just um you know just copy this ones over here so as you can see we have our our services over here okay so i'm going to what, copy these three things okay i'm just going to what, um, copy let me see this one should be underneath this one and this one okay so this one should come here this one should also come here i want them to be in one place so i can be able to what you know monitor them okay so guys what i'm going to do is i'm just going to drag this one here so it is just um copying okay so yeah okay so now i'm going to say this is what our portfolio not our services but our portfolio so what i'm going to do is just going to say our portfolio okay very good so now we have our portfolio done um what we need to do is to bring in the images that make up our portfolio so what we have to do is just you know look for that images so we have one two three four four different what images okay so we have the business website you know the ngo website and then the two e-commerce website so um we are going to go straight to it so i'm just going to drag in this one first of all and then position it well make sure that everything is what it's well positioned so as you can see um it's just one big thing now it depends on how you want to do it some people would love to just you know paste in all this one thing but i i don't want um, it to cover a lot of space okay so what i need to do is i just want to shrink it down okay so just uh, make sure that you shrink it to you know the size that you want okay so 
um, let's say I want it this way okay I want it this way and then um, I can go ahead and then you know bring in um, another one so I'm gonna want to bring in another one over here now make sure that they all are in the same order as what as this one because I want them to be to be um, having the same shape or they're having the same size so um i'm gonna go straight okay guys so i have this one also set up now i can push it um to this side okay now the next one is what is is um the ngo website so i'm gonna come over here pick the ngo website and also do it the same thing and then the last one which is also um, an e-commerce website so i'm going to what drag in this one also and then also you know ship it or make it the same size as the other ones okay guys so i'm going to what also position this one um over here okay so now i have this for you know set up now what i'm going to do is i'm just going to copy this one just copy this one and drag them here okay and then make this one business website position it the way i want it okay and then also copy and drag make it e-commerce website and then also position it in the middle okay and then also drag and drop this is also an e-com website okay and then let me let me just push it this way a little bit okay and then also drag and drop drag and you know bring it over here okay and then this one is just an ngo ngo website okay guys so i have this for uh, portfolio set up over here now the next one that i'm going to do is you know the last uh, but one session which is what which is the contact so and um, what i'm going to do is um, also have the same background as this one so i'm just going to what copy and drag the background okay so i'm going to copy and drag the background over here copy and drag so um i'm gonna make it something like this okay so copy and drag the background so as you can see and um, we can what we can drag it down like this to have um you know a better size okay and then um we can use this place as what as our um last so i'm going to push this one over here so that everything that i do will be on top of what on top of um, it so let's push this one over here yeah very good so now um this side over here it's going to be what it's going to be our uh, footer okay so i'm going to use the rectangular tool and then you know drag in some uh, thing over here okay so now i have something i can call my what my footer okay so i'm going to push this one inside okay so that it will be um, inside the 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 um you know the frame okay so we have this one over here now i'm going to change this one to it to a black color so you can change it to any black color that i want but this is what i want and now the footer is also very simple very simple footer as you can see um we can we can go ahead and then look at how this footer looks like and then we also want to do the same thing to this one so as you can see over here it's just a simple text over here i'm going to copy the text okay this is a simple text and then i'll pick the um the text tool over here and then you know just 
paste the text over here so now this text this color is what is the um, orange color that we are using okay so this color is different and then the other one are all what white okay so as you can see they are all what um, extra bold enter and then you know um, the size is 22 so now let's position it in the middle very well let's make it sure that it is in the middle so as you can see it is exactly in the middle now we are what we are good to go we have our footer done so the next one that we have to do is what is our last session that is the contact session and that is um, what we are going to do right now so to do that um, what we need to do is we need to also uh, make sure that we bring in some icons and other stuff so if you look at over here it is what a two column session okay so we have one part which says what contact us and then the other part which says which um, allow you to fill in your what your um, you know contact details and other stuff and give a message you can also send a quote and other stuff okay so that is exactly what we're going to do so what we would do is what we bring in these icons and then this one so first of all let's do this one first so we go over here and then to do that it, it's also very simple because we also we already have um, this kind of structure over here already so um, what we do is what we copy this one so we, we look at this one and then we copy these two things okay so we can what we can just hold alt and then what copy drag it down um, drag it down bring it down 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 yeah let's go let's go top let's go on top okay so we can just you know paste it somewhere here okay and then you know make sure that they are all in one place or they are all above the what the rectangle so we're gonna what um, drag them to the top of what of the website but make sure that it is in the frame of the macbook pro okay so it is on top right now so we can you know go over here and then just change this one to it contact us us okay so now as you can see we have what contact us over here now we can go ahead and then also what reduce the um the weight of this one to let's say 250 okay so now it is what it is quite okay we can you know position it well so we have contact us over here okay contact us now the next one is what to bring in our icons over here and then also what um you know make sure that our icon um, all this text we want to bring it so i'm going to bring an icon all this icon over here so first of all to even do the icon what do we have to do we make sure that we have what we have we have um these three rectangular boxes set up okay so that the icon will be placed on it okay and that's exactly what we're going to what we're going to do so make sure that you have the three um rectangular box set up so um the height and the width should be the same okay so 84 84 so um what we're going to do is we're going to come over here and then you know bring in a rectangular box so make sure that the height and the width should be the same okay so it's supposed to be like a square okay and then um just give it let's say a corner radius so 20 is what quite okay and then change this one to what to black okay guys so now as you can see we have um, this one done so we can go ahead close this one and then duplicate this ones so i'm going to duplicate this ones i'm going to duplicate this ones okay so now we have um these three things done okay so now these three things are done now the next one is to bring in our text over here so it is also very simple we can um, you know just 
copy this one or or what you need to do is to, you know just drag in your all and um, click on the text tool and then put this one over here okay so any you know um thing that you have i mean like um how do you call it um and a, uh, a telephone number sorry a telephone number that you have make sure that you put it over here okay and then you know you are good to go so um duplicate this one so you can go ahead and then maybe change certain things that you want to what you want to change in it okay so now make sure that you align all of them so that they'll be in the same place so i'm going to make sure that these two things are aligned yeah very good so um i think i'm i'm good to go so um the next one is what is email address so um, as you can see i can just duplicate this one bring it over here and then just type in what info at skytechdigital.com that will be the email address and then um the next one is also what duplicate this one and then what do you have to do with it this one is what is perfectly the what the address okay so with the address um, as you can see um, this is the location of Kitek digital so i'm just going to what i'm not going to waste time in doing so many things so just um, paste your what's your address over there and then make sure that you position it what well so now that you have this one done now make sure that you bring your what your um, icons over here. so to do that we are also going to go straight to what to the um you know file over here and then go to icons and then we're going to bring our what, uh, icon sucks set so um what icon do we have over here we have telephone and we have mail that is an envelope and then we have you know location so um we have telephone we're going to search for telephone we're going to search for mail and then we're going to search for what location okay so um basically we can say maybe phone and search for it if you don't find it say maybe call so it depends on how you search for it so as you can see there are a lot of what calls over there okay so um you know you can choose anyone that you want to what you want to choose and then you'll be able to what have it so we have our call over here so the next one is what i'm going to say envelope So I don't have it, so I'm going to say mail. So this is the mail that came, so I'm going to say email. So this one also is not what we want. So let's go back and see um, if we can find some of the what the mails, okay? So guys, as you can see, this one over here is what sms so we can what we can decide to to use this one which also symbolizes what um you know an envelope okay so um the next one is what is location so we're going to search for location so as you can see we can cho just choose this one over here as what as a location so we can you know go ahead and then make sure that we position all of them the way we want it so um guys we before we do that we have to change the color okay the stroke color so i'm going to change it to white because it's going to be on black okay so it cannot be black on black it should be white on black or any color that you want on black but i am going to make it white on black so as you can see i can just drag this one to the telephone 
and then you know resize it the way i want it so that it will fit in this one for me okay so the same thing applies to this one so let's say i want to make it um 40 so 45 okay so let's say 45 it's gonna fit in this one for me and this one also let me make it 45 it's also will fit in this one for me okay so now i have my first set of the um, contact set up now the next set is for us to set up what this one over here okay so it's also very simple um we're gonna use this this particular one over here um the the rectangular tool over here so i'm gonna what just use this rectangular tool to drag a big you know rectangle over here just like this one as you see over here um something like this is enough and then the next one is what i'm gonna what uh, make the corners what round okay so i think um 40 will be quite okay yeah so rounded corners is quite okay now um over here i'm gonna make it with white okay so i'm gonna make the inside white um let me just go over here and make it white so as you can see guys the inside is white so um just like this one or i can decide to it to even you know um instead of the white i'm going to make the inside just like um this particular what particular um color so i'm going to pick this color code come over here come over here and then change this one to this particular color code and then say it is what 44 percent so as you can see we're going to have um something similar like this okay so now um i can also decide to what to give it what a stroke okay so if i go over here with a stroke as you can see i have what i have the stroke and then instead of um you know inside i'll say outside okay and then um i can decide to what give it let's say a four so that it will be um it will be shown okay it will be it will be shown and then um you know with this one i still don't like it so I want to change the opacity to zero okay so that i'm going to have just like this now guys now that i have the opacity to be zero now i can fill in all the things that i want to fill so i'll still pick a rectangular tool over here and i come over here and then you know use this one okay so now um i can duplicate this one this is name um, email subject and then the last one which is um, message now with the message box i'm going to what i'm going to drag it and make it um, big like, like this and then what i'm going to do is um i'm going to copy the this one over here which is the um how do you call it the button over here okay so i'm just going to what duplicate it so i'll just you know drag it down and then send it on top okay i'm going to send it on top bring it here okay now guys as you can see these icons fall outside the what the macbook pro so we need to make sure that let me close all of them we need to make sure that we make sure that those icons fall within okay so we're gonna bring them over here so that they will what they will fall within the macbook pro exactly how we want it to be okay so let me put it here yeah exactly how we want it to be so now um i can just go ahead and then you know drag this one down okay so going to drag it down let's go let's go down 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 and then um you know position it just here okay 
and then instead of learn more i'm going to see what um send message i'm going to say send message and then um you know just make sure that everything is perfectly aligned okay so let's see if this one also says send message yeah send message so um full name email address so full name email address subject and then what message okay so that is exactly what we are going to come over here to do so over here we're going to bring our what our text um yeah okay so i'm gonna bring our text over here and then we'll see what full name so full name over here now i'm gonna what um you know change this one the properties and style it to the way i want it so i'm gonna say inter regular and then let's say 25 yes so now inter regular 25 i'm gonna put it just over here yeah and then i can what i can duplicate it some few times okay so full name email address full name email address and then let me duplicate this one also and this one will be what this one will be subject and then the next one is going to be full name email address subject and the next one is going to be what the next one is going to be um how do you call it guys message okay so now as you can see everything is what now perfectly done okay so we have everything perfectly what done so we have the um you know the website completely what done okay so our next step is now that we have our website completely done what is the next step for us to do our next step is what is for us to you know prototype this one so that um we can be able to what we can be able to view it in what in the um you know the you can send it to your in your your friends and anybody to be able to view it just like they are viewing something on the in a laptop interact with it and all those things and that is what we are going to what we are going to do that is the next step that we are going to do all right guys so to make the website interactive or to even go ahead to do the prototype of the website now what we have to do is um, to check the website in the presentation view so to do that you see this um you know um icon over here we have to click on it so click on it and then it will present the website to you in the macbook pro format as a presentation way or as a presentation format so let's um go ahead and then view it in the presentation format okay so guys this is how the website really looks like so as you can see um this is the the home page or the hero section of the what of the website now we can scroll up okay we can just um scroll up over here and then see how everything really looks like okay so um this really appears well for us in our what in our macbook pro this is how everybody will see the website in the macbook pro okay so um only in the macbook pro not in other devices for other devices you have to also convert this one into all the other devices but we are not touching that part we're just creating this one in the macbook pro or in the um you know the desktop format and then um this is how you can what you can present it so guys as you can see the website is not interactive um we have to what we have to make it interactive so to do that we are going back over here okay and then we're going to make the website interactive so guys to make the website interactive all what we have to do is to link all these menu items to the places where we want people to go when they click on it so if you want them to go to um you know the about session when they click on it 
and make sure that we link the about session to uh, we link the about menu item to the about session over here now if you want them to go to the service session the same way you link the service um you know uh, menu item to the um the service session over here the same way if you want them to go to the portfolio you link it to what to the portfolio the same way happens to the contact if you want them to go to the contact session you link the contact menu item to the contact session over here and that is how we are going to make it interactive now how do we link all these things together to do that you see over here on your right side over here now this is what design this gives you all the design properties and all the things whenever you are using the tools and other stuff now this is prototype this is where we are going to what, use it to what, to link um or to make our 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 design interactive so to do that we click on what um, prototype over here okay now when you click on prototype you realize that whenever you hover on something you see some plus you know things over there and that means that your um you know you can in make your your design or your project interactive so first of all we're going to what um link everything together so to do that um i'm going to start with home over here okay so when somebody clicks on home what i want them to do is what i want them to go um you know come to this side okay so what i will do is um i'm just going to what you see the way the plus sign over here you click and you drag okay and then drag it to anywhere that you want it to go there will be an arrow which will direct um to you to what where you want to go okay so when you reach where you want to go and you think the place is where you want people to go when they click on it just release it okay so click and then what release now over here we have um you know different kinds of what settings that you want to do so if you want them to click it to, if, if you want them to be on click you can what you know just um click it and then if 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 it is hover that you want anything dragging anything you can select it but ours is what on click when somebody click on it you want them to come over here and then scroll um when they click on it you want them to scroll to this place okay now of course you can select whatever that you want to do if it is an overlay if it is you know a swap overlay if it is anything that if you want it to open a new link you can even what if i can even do that okay so for us we want it to what, scroll over here and then it to go to the place that you want it to go now over here we want it to what animate of course you can choose instant or what animate but i want it to animate and the animation we want it to be what um slow okay you can choose the duration of that particular animation okay and that is it so um this settings will run through all the things that we're going to do unless maybe you want to change the settings to your own what things so now i'm going to close this one because we are done with what with the home now let's click on about so if you look at about over here also we can decide to what um, we can choose how we want it to do so we want it to what go to the this place which is what about okay we want people to what, when people click on it it will come to what to about and that is it now over here the same way applies to services so let's click on services over here and then let's drag the plus to uh, to the services page so we go to what our um, service over here okay so we want it to be on our over here and that is it now let's go to the portfolio so with the portfolio when somebody click on the portfolio menu item we want it to go to our portfolio so we we drag and then send it the person to what our portfolio and that is exactly where we want to so where is it where, let's locate it okay so this place so portfolio okay now um the next step is what is the last one uh, last but one which is contact so when we click over here also we want the person to go to what the contact so we click and drag and then send the person straight to the what the contact so let's go over here where is the contact here so we want them to uh, to come to this contact so we use the rectangle for it and then um the last one which is the button over here okay so when somebody clicks on this one we want the person to also go to the same contact okay but this one this time around we want the person to um, just go to the contact field over here so this one so we want the person to what um, go now we did the wrong thing so i want to um, change it okay so how do i change it i can select over here and then you know change it to what 
any of the um, things that I want I want okay so this is what we are using um, you know if you want this one you can what you can select it anyhow that you want it the portfolio and other stuff okay but let's look at um, where we want to so, um, let's continue to search for it so yeah this one okay triangle 16 you see that it has been selected over there okay so we want it to go over here and that is it so now um we want to what do the last one which is the button over here okay so when somebody clicks on um you know learn more want the person to go over here okay and that is it so now i think we are what we are good to go we can go ahead and then go over here and then see how it looks like in the row and view so as you can see now um this one really what is working okay so when i click on it you see that it brings me over to the the home when i click over here it sent me to the, the about side when i click over here it sent me to the services okay now when i what when i click on services also send me to the services when i click on portfolio it will also send me to a portfolio okay and uh, uh, you can you know check all those things um contact will send you to your contact and that is it now you realize that when i click on something i have to scroll back okay scroll back so we need to add that scroll to top um you know icon or button on the what on the website and also to do that you can you know easily do that so let's go to what to design and then make sure that we add that scroll to top so we're going to add the scroll to top to three different places okay so um we're going to what choose you know this rectangular thing over here and then we're going to add um the scroll to top rectangle to what to this place okay so i'm going to add this one this one is what i want i'm going to change the color to uh, to black okay and then i'm going to what um you know just add um a how do you call it an arrow inside it okay so to do that um you can you know go ahead and then go to resources or go ahead and then check for the simple word tools you can use the polygon as an arrow or you can use the arrow over here okay now point something pointing to a top okay so to do that i'm going to click on arrow over here and then i'm going to draw the shape that i want the arrow shape that i want so um you know i'll just draw the arrow shape and then make sure that i point it to what to the top okay so i'm going to point it to top like this one over here okay so this is the arrow now um i can go over here and then check the properties of the arrow you know change it to what the triangle arrow over here so this is how it's going to be like and then um you know the size of it or the inside size of it i want it to be inside i can but i want it to be outside okay so i can change it from um three to what to five to make it a little bit bigger so as you can see this is how it's going to what it's going to look like now i want it to what the color to be um the orange color that we what we used okay throughout the website and then i want to place this one inside oh let me undo this one i want to what place this arrow inside this um you know rectangle over here so um it's going to what it's going to be like this okay meaning that when somebody clicks on it it's going to go up okay so now that we have this one set up now let's go to what prototype over here so now we can what we can go over here and then link this um scroll to top icon or button over here to the what to the top so now when somebody clicks on it wants it to what to go to the top okay want it to um, head over to what to the top so let's scroll we want it to what touch this one okay this one over here so now let's go over here and then check if it is what it is working as we want it to be so um when i let's say when i click on get a quote i'll see this one and i can click on this one and then it will take me to the to the top and that is it so now it is what it is working perfectly 
now we can duplicate it and add it to it so many what places okay so um we just you know copy or duplicate it and then add it to other places now so i'm go going to what i'm going to copy the two things and then what i'm going to do is um, i'm going to go back to design over here and i'm going to duplicate it so i'm going to hold on alt and then um click and drag so i want to what need to be added to a different place for me so let's say i want it to be added to what to um let's say this place for me okay and then i also um, duplicate this one also and then add it to it another um, place for me so let's say i wanted to be added to, be added to it, this particular place also for me so i have it in three different places okay so now if i go over here i should be able to what um you know see how it works so if i click on what um let's say get a code i'm able to what click on this one and if i click on services i'll see this one over here and then when i click on it it will take me to the top now when i click on um portfolio i also see this one over here so now click it will take me to the to the top so this is how you can be able to what um create an interactive what website in figma sending it to your client and making it what work properly um very interactive so that your client will be able to what, um love and enjoy your work now i create websites for people if you want to what if you want me to create um this kind of website for you i'll be glad to what, do it for you you can contact me i'll put a link in the description so that you'll be able to what, contact or reach out to me now also um if you are new over here i'd love you to what, um, li like and subscribe to my channel let's go together and then send this share this you know video to as many people so that they can also be able to you know um, learn and upgrade their skills in web design and any other skill that they want to work they want to um you know upgrade thank you for watching now in our next video what we're going to do is we're going to convert this website into a real website okay we're going to convert this design into a real website using wordpress and then elementor see you in the next video please don't forget to like and subscribe to this channel my name is kobe bye bye